Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, May 13th, and it is the second update, I think, for the sweater um, collab that I'm participating in with some other ladies. They're all going to be linked below. It's a playlist, actually, but I'll link their channels individually as well. Um, we're all making sweaters this year. <laughs> so uh, the other participants are Connie from Connie's Crafty Corner. Carrie from Happy Crafty Homemaker, Sharon from Sharon Talks Yarn, and Olivia from Fiber Fun with Olivia. <laughs> They'll all be locked, linked down below, so check out their channels individually and also check out their sweater videos as well. So, I have some progress on my sweater, but um, not a lot, but it's mostly because of just being busy <laughs> and not having the time to sit down and uh, work on it. This sweater pattern is super easy. It's a free pattern too. And um, the only issue is I have to watch the video and then to know what to do, you know. And I can't do that all the time, you know, with the kids and stuff. So that's why it's taking me so long to finish it. But that's a good thing because this collab's going on until November, I think. So I have plenty of time to finish it. But the pattern that I'm making is a free pattern on YouTube. There are two video tutorials for it. It's part one, part two. And it is called the Easy Crochet Heart Sweater by I think it's Chinda DIY. Uh, it's a really good uh, tutorial. I like it a lot and I just play a little bit of it and then pause it until I do that row and then I continue on. The colors that I'm using just to refresh <laughs> is all Red Heart yarn and this is Orchid. Red Heart Orchid. <laughs> it's one of those big jumbo skeins and it's starting to get floppy. Try to get it without tangling it all up. And then I'm also using Red Heart uh, off white on um, soft white it's called soft white there's its strand and then the last color that i'm using I, this one's almost used up but i got another ball up there this one's called shocking pink and so last update i showed you i don't even know where it's at i have half of it the front part of it done i forgot that it was in that bag i think it's up there in that box i don't really want to climb up there and get it but i have the front panel or back panel done because they're exactly the same so I, now I'm working on the opposite panel, and then after I get the panels done, I will piece them together. And then that's when I do the sleeves and, like, the collar, and I think it's got a bottom brim. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I did work on this much. I worked on this the other day. Devin took the kids to get boba tea, <laughs> and um, I stayed home because I needed some time to just, you know, be by myself. <laughs> And I was watching a movie. What was I watching? It was on Paramount Plus, I believe. And I was watching the movie with Sally Field in it called Eye for an Eye. Really good movie. Highly suggest it, but also trigger warning. It's got some stuff in there that is sensitive. <laughs> Anyways, I started working on it. And I'm using a, um, this is a G hook, but it's the 4.5 millimeter. Because there's two G hooks in the U.S. hooks. And it's 4 and 4.5, but this is a 4.5 and this is how much I got done while watching that movie. <laughs> so I was watching that movie, but also, and yeah, there is a hole right there, but I will use the tail to sew that up. Um, I have not weaved in any of the ends yet. I should have. Uh, when I was working on the first panel, I tried to weave them in every, you know, like every time, like not every time I changed, but like every, <laughs> I don't know, six rows. Because each color used two rows at a time. Uh, I tried to keep up with them and I did not do that this time. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm going to regret that at some point. But yeah, so that's what I got so far. It's getting there. I am done with the whole center piece of it. Right now I am working on the part on the bottom of the heart, the, the V shape that is going to, am I? No, I'm working on shoulders. <laughs> I, was, I got confused. I'm working on the shoulder part that is going to square it up for the shoulders, you know, uh, to be like this part of the shirt. <laughs> but well, I guess it's this part actually right here. What's that cement? It's down there. This is one down shirts. <laughs> uh, like this part and then after I square that off I will be doing the V part down here you add uh, yarn to both sides and make it you know squared off <laughs> and then once that all the shoulders and the two sides on the bottom are done that's when I can piece them together and then attach for the sleeves and the collar and the bottom <laughs> brim part I could probably be done with this sweater already if I just dedicate more time to it but I don't want to get done with it too fast <laughs> I want to have more stuff to talk about um, you know, over the next few updates. Because I really don't want to start another sweater. <laughs> I just want to slowly work on this one and get it done. But it's coming along pretty good. 
I do believe the pattern that she, on the video, she's using smaller yarn and smaller hook. But I needed a bigger size because I'm a plus size person. Um, so I just used worsted weight yarn and then I used the G hook, the 4.5 millimeter. I can't remember exactly what she uses because I, it's been a while since I watched the beginning of the video. Um, but so far this is coming out pretty good size for me. So I think it's going to be fine. It might even maybe be a little too big. I don't know. I have body dysmorphia. So sometimes I think I'm bigger than I am and sometimes I think I'm smaller than I am. So that, that just kind of messes me up sometimes. But uh, it's coming along, I think. And I will, like I said, I'll use the tail back here to sew up that hole. And some of these, you can see the jogs. All I got to do is pull those thread, those uh, yarns a little bit before I weave them in. And then I'll tighten that up a little bit. It'll look nicer. But, yeah. So, it's coming along. I'm liking this pattern a lot. And I'm glad I started it. I was a little intimidated at first. Because it looks a lot more complicated than it is, even though it says it's easy. <laughs> Sometimes patterns say that, and it's not. Um, but this one actually is easy. And I've been just kind of trucking along with it. And it's been a lot of fun. And I can't wait to finish it. <laughs> I'm a little worried I'm not going to have enough shocking pink. I have the rest of this, and then I have another whole regular size ball. I think it's right there. Um, if I run out of it, I'm just going to order another one. I realize it probably won't be the same color because of dye lots and stuff. Um, I know acrylic yarn isn't supposed to have dye lots. I think it's what it says on the packaging. But sometimes they do come out different colors. So uh, it'll just be the sleeves, I think, by then. So I don't think it'll be too noticeable. I'm not worried about it. I have plenty of orchid, and I have plenty of the off-white soft spot <laughs> so i'm not too worried about it at all but that is my update so i'm trucking along on it got it's getting close to being well it's probably at the halfway point by now because the panels are like the biggest parts of it and then after i get both the panels on it, it'll just be like the sleeves and the borders you know around the neck and the bottom of the sweater so i feel like it should be pretty quick after that and sleeves are usually pretty easy you know you start off bigger and then you decrease as you go down so it'll be um pretty quick I think <laughs> but uh we'll we'll see I guess but that is my update so I hope you enjoyed seeing my little sweater update <laughs> and like I said everybody else will be linked below so go check out their videos I'm gonna shove all this back in here so I don't misplace any of it and I'm gonna I gotta edit this because I I'm late to the party again everybody else already got their videos done <laughs> and here I come in last place but that's okay I'm gonna try to upload mine on time this time or publish it on time. Last time I accidentally did an hour after everybody else did because time zones confused me and I got confused. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's getting done. <laughs> I got a whole list of videos I'm going to be filming over this weekend because I just haven't had the time until um, this weekend to do anything yarny. So I'm going to be doing that. And I got this all shoved in a bag that I made forever ago. And I might sit and work on it for a little while later tonight in this bag. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that is my update for my sweater. The next update will be in a month, I believe. I'm not sure of the date. Uh, it's in my email, but I forgot to check. <laughs> but uh, you'll see it when you see it, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.